What's up, everybody? This is Bob Hollywood with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Today I'm bringing you the third edition of Civvies, Soldiers, Spacemen, and Superheroes. Uh, I got tripped up on my words today. As you can see, some of these figures are on stands. This is actually my second time trying to make this video. I tried to make it without the stands, and they fell almost as soon as I hit record because my leg hit the table. But the ones without stands, their peg holes are either too big and the stands wouldn't stay there or their peg holes are too small and the stands wouldn't fit or some of them don't have peg holes. So that's unfortunate, but let's get started. Today we we have 20 figures, I believe. Right now we're looking at 17. Yeah, and I have three off screen, the top three off screen. So we have 20 figures, which is awesome. We're going to start off with this guy right here. His name is Reaper. He's like a motocross dude. And this is um, an Adventure Force line. And he's got some pretty decent articulation. He's tiny, though. He's really tiny. I bought him because he came with a motor, um, a dirt bike. And I thought the dirt bike would be pretty cool for like my core figures and whatnot. So other than that, nothing bad to say about him. Like Pretty good sculpting. No painting on his face or anything. Um, but yeah, he's pretty good. He'll probably break easily, but for now I have him. Second figure we have is Sarath. He's also he came in a two pack with, with uh, Reaper over there. Again, I bought these guys on clearance at Walmart because they came with motorcycles or dirt bikes. And when I first saw these at Walmart, there were like four different ones, and I was like, I'm not paying eleven bucks for these. Um, and I thought, and I was like, I could really use those those dirt bikes. And um, eventually, when I went back, these were the only two. And they weren't even with the other clearance where they were when I first saw them. They were hiding. So I bought them. Hey, it is what it is. Next up, we have one of the last entries. One of the last toys I'll ever receive from um, from De Debbie, my toy plug. Um, I bought her. I mean, excuse me. I bought this Black Suit Spider-Man and several other figures that we have today from her. And I am pretty much depleted her stock. Like, she has some other random things, but... These are my forte, and it's pretty much it. I've, I've depleted her. Um, this guy's rank low because I'm not a big fan of Spider Man, and this guy's articulation is weak. But um, the sculpt's good. He looks more alien than a normal Spider Man, in my opinion, and that's because he's wearing an alien. But um, yeah, other than that, nothing really to say about this guy. Next up, and when I do this, this next figure is going to fall. Oh, he stayed up. Next up, we have Iron Man. I can't tell you which Mark suit this is. I don't care about Iron Man. That's why he's ranked so low. This guy's really loose and wobbly. I already took the screenshot for this video, and um, his torso was actually backwards when I did that. So that's funny to me. But other than that, yeah, this is Iron Man. He's okay, I guess. He's really wobbly, really wiggly, but it is what it is. And you can see his hole might be a little too big for the, the stand. It fell off. But other than that, that's Iron Man. He's ranked low because I don't like Iron Man. I bought him just in case. You never know when you need an Iron Man. Up next, we have a core figure, the first core figure of many this week. Um, do anything about core figures, you don't usually just get one. So there's a total of six of them today. This is a static figure. He only has three points of articulation. And um, his name is Dozer. He came with a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher. I still have it. Um, unlike most of the CSSS videos, some of these were bought used, like the Black Spider-Man and the Iron Man and several other figures. So, I don't have everybody's accessories, but I do have this guy's, um, grenade launcher. He's ranked so low because of his low points of articulation, but it's cool. It's, he is what he is. Really good sculpting, though, and paint. Well, the paint could be better, but the sculpting's not bad. Sixth place, we have Star Lord, the comic accurate version. And the reason why he's so low, despite being so cool, is because I bought him, and he had no arm. He's missing an arm. He's always. Um, I, I still had to get him, even though he's missing an arm. I figured, hey, I could replace that arm somehow, or buy a new one, and then this one could be used for parts. But I think the red and blue looks cool. I'm not super familiar with the Guardians of the Galaxy at all. So this is my second Star Lord. I do have the MCU kind of part, which I'm more familiar with. I've seen all of those films or all of the films that the Guardians are involved, the three of those. 
So, this is cool. By the way, I probably won't watch any more Guardians films because they fired the director. But that's just my personal view. Up next, we have Buckshot. And honestly, he'd be ranked lower. This is another core figure. He would be ranked lower than that Star-Lord if that Star-Lord had an arm. If that Star-Lord had an arm, he'd probably be in like the top 10. But he doesn't. But here's Buckshot. Five points of articulation. Core figure. He's a flight guy. It's cool. He looks a little older. Most of the core figures do look like they're in their 30s. Some of them in their 20s. He looks like he's retirement age. Looks like he's in his late 40s. But he's cool. Not really much to say about him. Like he's an old geezer in a flight suit. Here we go. Number eight, War Machine. And this is another one from Debbie. Uh, he's missing his accessories. He's not even complete. I don't even know what was supposed to be back here, but whatever it was, he doesn't have it. Um, but he's ranked higher than Iron Man because he's cooler than Iron Man. And maybe because he's cooler than Iron Man. His, um, he's a little bit tighter. Legs are a little loose, but I'm not complaining. I like War Machine a lot more than I like Iron Man. Okay, this is the fourth figure from Debbie. And there's only about ugh, seven altogether. So here's fourth, or number four rather. And this is Spider-Man. I don't know what this Spider-Man's from. I want to say it's from the video game, more recent video games. But this suit's not bad. And he's ranked higher than the black suit Spider-Man because he has more articulation or better articulation. His uh, mask and his, his body is sculpted really well. It's not just painted. So that's a plus. And yeah, I figured this guy's not bad looking. I put him in the, the higher spot. So I think that's number nine. And then we have Silver Surfer. No, no, let's see, no script, no skateboard, no surfboard for this guy. Um, but he's cool. I have a Marvel Legends Silver Surfer, not the new one that everyone's hyped up about, but the Toy Biz version. And he's actually one of my favorite figures, even though his um, that particular figure doesn't want to stand on his own. This guy's fine. He's just a, a chrome colored dude. And um, once my painting skills get a little bit better, I might paint him so he's like more metallic. But my level of painting isn't there yet, and he's fine the way he is. He does have these weird uh, wrist joints, articulation. They're like halfway up his forearms. I've mentioned that on a few other figures before, and it's weird, but it is what it is. I do like this Silver Surfer. Got him from Debbie, so we are running out of Debbie figures. Up next, we have El Jefe, and really, the three core figures that are left, or the three core figures that are core members that are left, uh, they could all be in any spot. There's nothing wrong with El Jefe. He uses the same body cast and um, as as Titan from, I think, the first video or the second video. I can't remember at this point. But um, So he's a relatively big dude. He's got a big head. He's Hispanic. The core, both the core and the curse, they all just have different diverse backgrounds. So he's from South America, I believe. And I was just on the website looking at their bios, and they're pretty cool, man. Like, they have a pretty good backstory, and they have to. I mean, there's no comic book, there's no TV show like a G.I. Joe or something along those lines. So they have to rely on that website and the, the card boxes that these figures come in to to let people know about them. They're not just generic soldiers. They're... They're inexpensively made, and that's how you can get three of these in a box with some sort of vehicle for five bucks. That's insane. I wish they would release more curse figures, but it is what it is. This is El Jefe. Nothing's wrong with him. He's got pretty good articulation. He can do that with his legs. And so, and these guys are easy to like customize. You can take them apart and make them look however you want. Like if I wanted to take this guy who was trick shot, the next entry, and switch his parts around. With um, El Jefe, I could very easily. Uh, the paint on their arms would be different from the head. But other than that, they're pretty cool. These guys are... The back of his vest isn't painted or whatever. But that's... A, five bucks for three figures and a vehicle. Not complaining. Nothing really to say about Trick Shot. Like I said, he could have been ranked... He could have been lower than El Jefe. He was actually ranked higher than the other guy that's back there. I was like, I really like that figure. So I ranked him lower. First up, 
next up rather is Deadpool in his X Force suit. I just wanted to make it clear that this is a knockoff. I bought this off of eBay, and I paid five bucks for it. It came from China. I did not assume he or the other Deadpool would be this, like good, like this well made, this well sculpted, crafted. If it's a knockoff, it is what it is. I paid five bucks for it. I'm happy for that. I'm happy with that, so I'm not complaining. The only reason why he's ranked lower than the other Deadpool, or why they're not closer, is his face is fat, man. He has a fat Ninja Turtle face, whereas the other one has a, a slimmer face. And it just looks odd to me, but he's cool. Like, he came with his weapons. He came with, um, he came with his weapons, and, and he's, he's dope. He's dope. His legs are a little bowed out, but I'm not complaining about that. This figure is awesome. We have the last core member, not the last core figure, but the last actual core member, and this is Smoke, and Smoke has a pretty cool backstory, and I like how he, I just like how he looks, like, look at him, he's, he's wearing, like, chinos, and he's got, he's got, like, some Adidas, or K-Swiss, whatever, and he's wearing a scarf, man, this dude is no fucking, no fucking joke, I like this dude, I want, I would like to get, like, ten of this one figure, and just swap the head, swap the heads with the other members of the core and the curse, and then they all they have this uniform look. That would be so cool to me. I've seen some customs where people have gotten rid of the scarf and put different heads in here. These things are really easy to customize, man. You just you just know you know break down this uh, scarf, bring it down some, and then switch the heads out. It's really easy. This is smoke. He's awesome. He has like pointy ears, kind of. He kind of looks like an elf, but he's human. He's badass. I'm looking forward to using this. The last core figure in the second curse member of the week, or I think the only curse member of the week, is, oh man, I just drew a blank on my dude's name, Reaper. Not Reaper. Re not Reaper. Uh, oh God, I feel bad. I think it is Reaper. It doesn't matter. This dude's cool. He's pretty big. He is decked out. There's no skin. He has his eyes showing. He's brown skin. So maybe he's Hispanic. His bio says unknown. So no one knows where this guy's from. And that's pretty cool. He's just like the other newer core figures where, like, the way they're made. But this guy stands out because he's a cursed member, and I like bad guys. Um, if he was a core member, he would probably be ranked just under smoke. But he's cursed. Curse gets an edge. I like villains. Villains are where it's at. Look at that mask. The mask is awesome. If I had another one of these, I'd repaint that mask in time once my painting skill gets up there. I'm not good with like small strokes of a brush. But all right, and then we have Deadpool in his traditional red suit. Again, another knockoff from China. Again, I'm 100% satisfied with this figure. It blew my mind. Um, I wanted this figure when I saw it. I didn't expect it to be shitty. But I had no faith that it was going to be as amazing as it is. And um, I'm happy I bought them. All the same articulation as the... as the uh, What color is that? Gray one. as the X-Force one. But in a traditional suit, his legs are also a little bit bowed out. But I'm not complaining. Like, I don't plan on, you know, tossing this guy around. Maybe take some more dynamic photos with him. I've already taken one. I think I had him. Uh, what was he doing? I can't remember. I put it on Instagram. But I can't remember what I had him doing. Oh, I had him pose with Green Lantern from the first episode. And they were both holding up um, Green Lantern rings. And Green Lantern's looking at this dude like, what the hell? But I just went to do so much photography with this guy. He's awesome. Okay, the last figure before the top three is U.S. Agent. And honestly, this guy would be in the top three. But he's the second one I have. The first one I bought off of eBay I thought was a knockoff, but they're the exact same articulation. Only thing is, whoever had that figure, they painted a fucking A on his forehead. And um, he doesn't have an A on his forehead. But um, I was thinking they just took a Captain America buck and um, made this guy... And they just were too stupid to take the A off the forehead. But no, he's he is not Captain America. 
they have different heads, different faces, different bodies. He's bigger. And um, they have different points of articulation. Like this guy can do this. But nothing here. Whereas it's the other way around for Captain America. So again, he'd be higher if, I, if he was my first one. Which is a little bit contradictory as you'll see in a minute. But I love this dude. He's in my display case. Not this one. The, the first one I have. He's in my... um. He's in my curio cabinet. But he'll this one will make his way there, too, because he fits the theme for the summer. And i got to take a picture of that curio cabinet before the end of the, the summer. All right, and number three, the third place, is Captain America I was talking about. As you can see, his wrists do that, but he has no ankle. And other than that, they're roughly the same. They're not the same like Buck, which I was just saying. As you can see, uh, U.S. Agent is, is meteor, and their faces are different. U.S. Agent looks angry. I remember the very first time I ever saw U.S. Agent, he was on the cover of, uh, I want to say, West Coast Avengers comic book that I had, and he just looked super fucking angry, and I was like, why does Captain America look like that? Uh, or I thought he was a bad Captain America. But nope, he's just an angry-looking dude. Went we'll through the same process. But uh, yeah, this guy is pretty sweet, Captain America. He's retired just because he's my only Captain America in this scale. I do like that he is from the comic. I know I've said in the past, I prefer the MCU, but you can't go wrong with that. I think all of these figures today are from the comics. Um, Deadpool wouldn't really make a difference in the Iron Man and Black. Um, Iron Man and War Machine would make a difference, but this is definitely a comic Captain America. Just switch my lighting down some. Number two, and or second place, this is the contradictory thing. I know I just said U.S. Agent was ranked lower because he was the second one, but here's Loki, King Loki. And this one's ranked in second place because he stands. He doesn't need this stand. I haven't won the stand, but he doesn't need this stand. I found him in a Goodwill. No, I found him in a Savers. So no accessories with this dude. But I have, this, I have the same figure, just in a different painting. And that's, when I first got it, I was confused as to which Loki is this because he wasn't on the website I was using for reference. But people were like, King Loki. I was like, well, King Loki's not painted this way. I like this black and gray, excuse me, this black and gold and green as opposed to the, I think, the brown and 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 black and green. Um, and he stands. He doesn't need this stand to stand. He can stand on his own. He does it. I just put him on the stand because I had the stand. I don't really like this stand. I just made a video about these stands. But, um, yeah. I said in the last video that that King Loki would have been ranked higher if his ass would have stood. And he didn't. So that's why he was ranked at, like, the lowest. One of the lowest. So there he is. King Loki. Okay, we got one more figure. Can I get a drum roll? You guys guessed it, man. For the third week in a row, we have... A Daredevil figure. It's like, I'm lying. We got Blue Deadpool. And when I got this one with the other ones, I thought he was going to be my least favorite. Uh, but his legs aren't bowed out. He, uh, he came with two hits. I think they all came with like a multitude of weapons. He didn't have one of those particular weapons, but this motherfucker is cool. I took a picture of him riding a dragon. Check out the Instagram for that. Um, I just want to make so, do so many pictures with these guys. I, right now, I have on the alternate head with his with his smile showing. Excuse me, because I thought it was so creepy and badass. But um, yeah, this dude's awesome. He is super awesome, super duper awesome, fantastic. Wade Wilson, bam, he's number one. Nothing to say about him that I haven't already said about the other ones. He's a little bit stiffer, but I'm not complaining. I like it. His legs aren't bowed out. And I'm pretty sure I could fix that in the other ones, but he would still be number one. Again, another knockoff, but another awesome knockoff that I wouldn't have guessed had it not been from China. So that's it, guys. That is episode three. Uh, what? He's pulling them in. He's pulling them in like, ugh, ugh, ugh. He's roping them in. He's roping them in. Oh, there's the others. All right, so... That's it, episode three of CSSS, Civvy, Soldiers, Spacemen, and Superheroes. I don't think I had any spacemen. I have Star-Lord, who's human, but he's from space. And I have Loki, who's technically an alien. But most of these are human, I mean, excuse me, civvies. 
like this guy, and superheroes, like I'm counting that, he's not a superhero, but he's a villain, that's what counts, and of course, soldiers, so, thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching another one of my videos, like, comment, and subscribe, share this video, let all your homies know, let everybody know that you support Bob's Hollyworld, I greatly appreciate it, enjoy the rest of your day, have a good one.